Hello everybody, my name is PJ and this is my friend Tyler and welcome back to 2P, 2P Crash Bandicoot, Bandicoot 2. 2 Part 15 The show where we rage and fail and hate Crash Bandicoot Yeah, we're talking about anime and stuff too, which is cool Yeah Yeah, I was supposed to do this level Nope No, it, it's too hard for me, so no. I beat I beat games I've beaten hard games Yeah, but you said yourself that you like easy platformers, right? Yeah I do like easier platformers. Because like I said before, my favorite platformer of all time is Kirby. Kirby's easy as crap. No, but in all honesty, uh, it's the fact that I, I can beat hard games. I just don't do it in few tries. I need to take a lot of tries to do it. Because I beat Rayman uh, Origins too, so don't forget about that. I keep telling you, Rayman Origins is not that hard. I mean, you, you beat the original Rayman? You have something to brag about. What part... Well, look... Rayman original, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe harder. But just take into consideration the number of times you die in each one. I guarantee you've died. If, if I were to play Crash, uh, the original Rayman, I would die more in Origins than I would in the original. And that's the easiest way to gauge difficulty. It's but just the number of times you die. Rayman Origins gives you infinite lives and checkpoints in like every screen. Yeah, that doesn't mean that it's easier. All it means is that it's more forgiving. And that, but it makes it easier to 100%, right? Still, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from the way that I gauge difficulty, which is strictly the number of times you die to beat a game. That's the only thing I really gauge difficulty on. That's it. So, a game where you can't die that's even harder isn't as hard? I don't consider it. If, if, if there's no way to fail, if there's no way to lose progress, then I don't really consider I, I don't consider that hard at all. It can't be. That doesn't make any sense. Because then what? Well then what are you doing then? Trying to solve a puzzle, maybe. Maybe it's a puzzle game, not like a Tetris game or anything, but like Sokoban. Then, it, then it's the number of times you fail. You can't fail in Sokoban. Yes, you you can. get to a point where you're stuck. Which is considered a failure state. Yeah, you a can't lot of the solve time, a lot of the time though, it's subjective though, like. You might think you're stuck and you're actually not. Wait, did I see something up there? Yeah, I thought I see something up there too. And there's crates, but... I could... Why isn't the camera moving that way? I guess it's not something we're supposed to do here. Hmm. I would be really pissed off if it's like some kind of secret. Mm -mm. Like, an actual section where you, that you had to do off screen. <laughs> um, I wouldn't put bullshit like that past this game at this point. No, I wouldn't either. Alright, we're getting close to the gem. Don't lose both your masks this time. But well, you could do it, who knows. Really? There. There, now we die. And that takes us back to here. And we'll hope that there's no boxes at the end of the death path, which there probably isn't. Death no, the, path. The, the gem path. Or a secret stage exit. But we made it to the end of the gem path. I was going backwards to get the rest uh, of Ah, yes, yes, of course, of course. Yeah, but the first of these ruin levels, level 17, I believe it is? Or is it 14? I think it's 14. But... It does have an alternate entrance, because there's a level 14 listed on the secret hub. Okay. Yeah, so that's how we enter that stage. You probably don't want to do that from the middle of them, because then you could get stuck inside again. I was trying to do the middle to get them both at once, which is a lot easier in Crash 3. No, but in terms of, like, uh, games that don't have failure states... Uh, I suppose an equivalency to difficulty measurement that's not just number of times died would have to be amount of time spent not knowing a solution or not on a solution. Which I suppose would have to be equivalent to that. Would that be about right? Yeah, uh, uh, amount of time spent to beat um, a game that could be beaten in way less time yeah. would definitely be an indication of challenge. Mm hmm Okay, let's not fuck up this time.
There we go. Did it. Yeah. Very good. That is, of course, um, not uh, any sort of direct way of describing difficulty. Because if, because if I had to, like, actually... Give a definition to it? I don't think I could. Because, I mean, how would you describe difficulty? Um, well, something that is difficult is something that is difficult... Well, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. something that eats up a lot of resources in order to overcome. Hmm. Be it, you know, physically or metaphysically? Um, yeah. Okay. Like any kind of thing that you consider a resource. All right. Okay. That makes sense then. All right. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, they do. You do a lot of slide jumps, aren't they? Yeah. Weird. Poor mouse. All right. Hmm. No. No, I timed it wrong. Oh well, it's fine. Yeah, the spinning, the spinny platformy things. Uh, I had to go back that far if I wanted to go backwards. So I guess that you're supposed to just die. Like that's the actual recommended strategy. Huh. Oh no. This is not good. It's fine. It's not that long of a stretch to it. Well, what's worse is the fact that, like, it, it seems like that's really, um, buggy. You seem to be sliding on it as it's moving around. Which is kind of problematic, you know? And, you know, perspective problems, man. Okay, there we go. Alright. There. Okay, and this is the spot where Bird the jumps have. Off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's kind of adorable, actually. <laughs> Murder. Of course. Okay, it's fine though. Yeah, I think you got the uh, weird rotating platforms pretty set now, don't you? Yeah. Really? <laughs> okay. Um. <sighs> I hit the enemy into the TNT crate, and the explosion killed me. Mm -hmm. Uh, wow! I don't have—I don't know what to talk about now besides just talking more about Poby the Performer <laughs> and spoiling everything. Nah, don't, don't. I won't. If, people, spent, if no, people are interested, just they'll just go find it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess. Uh. Well, we never actually talked about Gregory Horror Show on on the show before. No. Yeah, and that's a that's a pretty wonderful show. Yeah. Uh, again. Oh. Yeah. If you're the kind of people that like, um, like the kind of things that have fan theory communities, like Dark Souls, Friends of Freddy's, Off, Undertale, uh, Gregory Horror Show is a good place to go to. Yes. It's also very Courage the Cowardly Dogish. Yes. And is also another early 3D anime. Yep. Uh, yeah, and and also it's an it's an anime where the English dub may actually be superior to the Japanese one. Which is really cool. Because it didn't censor anything. There's a lot of blood in it. There's a lot of blood. Lot of there's sensitive a... topics. To... Uh -huh. What hit? What did I hit? I, I, you're hitting the top. The same thing almost happened before. You're better off just doing a, a normal jump as opposed to a... Uh... What was that? What was what? Do I get those crates? Those are the ones at the end of the platform, yeah. That's that's where you come on to. And then you walk off to the right. Yeah, you get, you get those. Yes. You seem a lot higher than... Huh. It's it's screwed up Crash Bandicoot perspective. Just be glad our world doesn't operate the same perspective as Crash Bandicoot does. Yeah, Gre Gregory Horror Show uh, from just from like a um, well, just, just to describe it, it's uh, how how would I describe it? Like, well, for one thing, one really weird aspect about the first two seasons is that. It's in first person. Yeah, it's in first person. You, you, actu mean, you actually see the entirety of the events play out in chronological order. It's not like a slice of life story or anything. Um, through the eyes of the main character. And I, I honestly can say that that 
that is um, something I've never really seen before. At least, not for the entirety of the duration, you know? Again? Okay. The perspective there is really weird. Here, here, here's what you should do, okay? Hear me out on this. Go, go frontwards? Go frontwards. Okay. Yeah, go frontwards. It'll be easier. Uh, it's mostly just about like a bunch of these weird monsters like living in a house together called the Gregory Like house. a hotel. Like a hotel, yeah. And it's incredibly fascinating to see their lives and, and, and what, they're, what they're about, you know? Like I said, it's, it's very fan theory-like. So you, you see a lot of stuff about like, hey, why is... Why is there random, like, mummy dogs with, like, butcher knives sticking out of their heads? Or a chef made of wax that is, like, a candle for some reason. Or Toilet Baby. I still don't understand Toilet Baby. And everyone's favorite character, Judgment Boy. Yep, everyone's Who is boy. often theorized to have been a lawyer in life. Mm-hmm. Whoa. That, the screen is pushing me. There he is. That was much easier. Well, so there, there's theories about like whether or not the monsters are actually humans or not, and you know the kind of impacts that they're dealing with. So, yeah. There's also a video game based on it, European only though. I think the reason why the uh, the video game was sorry Japan and Europe exclusive was because the English dub for it was only aired once in America. And it didn't really go over very well. Right at the end. Yay. And we got yeah. everything in one one trip. Yep. Quote, unquote, one. Yeah. <sighs> okay, that's done. Yeah, we, we've mentioned, like, in, in this episode and the previous, of uh, the concept of... Um, being like Curd the Cowardly Dog. Like, what does that mean? Oh, cuts Okay, we'll wait after this is over. Crash, I have discovered that the opposition is being masterminded by Dr. Nictris Rio, the inventor of the Evolvo Ray. Rio was responsible for our misunderstandings in the past. He forced me to assist him in his plot for world domination, and he's at it again. He will attempt to stand in our way. Be on your guard, Crack. Use the platform to deliver the crystals to Engine. What? I was going to say Engine. Oh, okay. But he's not a very good liar, though, is he? No. His Engine attacks us on sight. And yeah. why would you attack us right now when we only have 80% of the crystals? Yeah. Oh, boss time. Yeah, uh, I totally forget how this goes. Yeah, but you, you gotta throw fruits at him, right? Like. And then Crash just refuses for some reason. I guess because he. So how do you attack? Because you're, you're supposed to be shooting fruits. Yeah, there you what go. What the? Yeah. They don't explain that at all. Yeah. You have to throw fruits into the little glow glowy bits on him. It doesn't even matter which direction you're facing. No. That's cool, I guess. And you just have infinite supply. The only problem I have with this is just how lazy it looks. And there's no animation, there's no nothing. It's just... It, 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 it seems very... Last minute, I guess. So you're just doing the spin button, right? I can't slide! You can't slide? No, it just fires. Why would they do this? They changed all the mechanics. I don't know. I really don't. It makes no sense. I guess it's kind of neat. I guess. The engine boss in the third game is way cool. It's like the coolest boss in the series. This is awfully like long-winded, isn't it? There we go. All right, now what? Okay, Chest, now it's head. The probably shoulders next. Okay. With missiles. Oh, that's easy. 
Wow. This is gonna take a while. They're really hard to hit. How many hits do they take each? Ten or something? Oh, maybe not that many. Okay. Now I have no reason not to keep tapping this button. Oh, oh, oh that's oh. no. Oh. I did not see that coming. Okay, so when he has one, it changes. All right. That's fair enough. Hey, at least we actually got to this guy today. Yeah. Happy about that. This is going to leave us with one more world to do. That was much faster than before. Yeah, so d did Crash just refuse, which is why this is happening, or... I mean, there was no cutscene kind of showing that he declined. I'm very confused <laughs> by that. It, it's impossible to know what's going through Crash's head. Well, you missed every shot. It's not easy. I'm not saying it is. I seem to recall something about these platforms falling at some point, though. Well, he still has three hit points left, which is probably going to happen during his last his last phase. But, you know, honestly, though, uh, I've heard a lot of people say that this boss is actually one of the best in this game, which I gotta say is completely not true to me. It was actually kind of boring. Well, at least it's engaging and actually interesting, unlike the Komodo Brothers. Oh, I you jumped! Serious? You saw me jump! Yeah, too late, though. Hmm. <sighs> I gotta do all that over again. Yeah. This is a long boss. Well, long for crash standards, anyway. Actually, the engine boss in the third game is pretty long, too. But it's much more fun than this. For some reason, I'm getting the urge to play Super Mario RPG for some reason. I'm gonna have to go play that later. Anyone know how to fix the Super Nintendo cart? I have a Super Nintendo cart of Mario RPG, and I can't get it fixed. It doesn't seem to want to run, it doesn't seem to want to run properly. It gets to the boot screen, and then just goes glitchy and doesn't work. Call me. Or, you know, just leave a comment, because we don't want to go giving your phone number out. <laughs> I suppose so. There's got to be an easier way to hit those things. Wow. You were so distracted with trying to hit it that you didn't... I really wish I could slide. Then I could just get away from them, but no. Welcome to NGen. You can jump, at least. I didn't know you could jump. Oh, yeah, I did. I'm just so surprised that you can, since every button shoots! The slide button shoots, the, sh the square button shoots... Actually, the... only one of the slide buttons shoots. Oh. The other one does nothing. It's, it's just deactivated? Yeah. It's weird that I can shoot that one while it's firing at me. That is very odd. I... Engine has to be one of my least favorite Crash characters. He's my favorite Crash villain. I don't like him at all. What's wrong with him? I don't like his design. That's one of the reasons I like him. <laughs> I, I, I've just never liked it. And I just, I just never really knew what his purpose was was at all, like, other than just being a replacement for, you know, uh, Embryo. I mean, Embryo has just always seemed much more interesting to me overall. Why? I kind of just like him more. I guess the best way to put that is just that his, his design doesn't kind of, like, disgust me. <laughs> and I don't know. I really don't like Engine's design at all. I've always hated it. And I think it's just because, like, it just doesn't make any sense. It Like, it's really random. Like, he's it's, like, it's supposed to be, like, a missile stuck in his head, right? But, like... Yeah, it's a warhead that stuck into his head, and he couldn't remove it without it exploding, so he just integrated it into his head in order to make it safer. Yeah, you know, no jump. Yeah, there you go. Okay, last phase. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Uh, oh, he does. That. Are you kidding? Okay. There's no way I can react to that. Okay. When's he gonna so. give me the fucking mask? Maybe we have, maybe we should exit this boss and just go get two masks for the boss. I don't want to have to keep doing that. Although he, he although engine does look very familiar to me though, but I, I don't know from where. Well, apart from the missile, he does look like your typical mad scientist assistant. Ugh. That was weird. Yeah, why did it transition so quickly? It kind of froze a little. Well, wait, he well he came in a little late there too. That was weird. No, he always comes in late. We're on his space station now, right? I can only imagine so. Yeah. 
Because a lot of the last level is a space station theme. Like, you get the jetpack. Yeah. And that weird jetpack that's, like, all in, like, the, the forward perspective for some reason. I wish I had more to say. I, I just... I'm just trying to concentrate. He always implements like, brand new attacks at the last minute, and you can't react to them, and you die to them, and then you have to do this whole part over again. I mean, whatever happened to introducing mechanics in a safe environment, huh? <laughs> well, I suppose in a boss fight, it, it's not quite the same thing. Because, I mean, I, I, you can tell, obviously, he's, he was kind of built to surprise you. So I, I get what they were going for, for sure. And I'm, I'm, I'm not really at liberty to say it's a wrong design choice. I mean, because it seems to work. Really? I try to get left so I can see it coming as much as I can, but the camera's weird here. I wish it was zoomed out a bit more. You're getting pretty good at hitting those, at least. They're not hard to hit. You're having trouble at first, though, to hit, uh, hit them. Yeah, you should just shoot, like, automatically or something, because honestly, there's no point to not be shooting fruit. Although, why, why in the world can a robot even be destroyed by fruit anyway? And where is Crash getting all this? Oh, it's all the wumper fruit he's collected over the course of his adventures. He didn't eat it? No. He only has so much stomach capacity. So, you know what game I did play recently that... Okay, I played a bit of Tomba. You know what that game is. Yeah. Because he's talked about it. That game is weird. Yeah. Uh, like, that game is really weird. I mean, I, I, I cracked up when I got jumping pants. It really cracked me up. Because, you know, you, you, may, you may think that game is just, like, a, t a 2D platformer. 2.5D. It's not. It's, it's a platformer, yes, but it's actually... Okay, here it comes. Okay, now what? Do you have to hit him enough times before he destroys all the platforms? No, okay, he brings them. Okay, that's easy. You got this now. Huh? Uh, okay. Oh, he doesn't target you? That makes things harder. There, we're going. <sighs> Okay. We're suffering. Whoa. I don't remember this hub looking so cool. It would be a lot easier to trust you if the, your own subordinate wasn't trying to kill us. Like, didn't even give us a chance to hand over the crystals. <sighs> Alright. Last hub. Yep. Probably the hardest. Also, it feels like we're missing a, missing a gem from somewhere. We are, from a few stages. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's see. Piston it away? Mm hmm. Rocket. Rocket stage. Night flight. Night, night fight. fight. Pack attack. Okay. And spaced out. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Yep. Okay. So, uh, might as well go in order. Um, so that's 21, so... Piston it away. We won't be able to get very far into the stage, but... Nah. We can go a little bit. Can look at it at least. Yep. So are all of these space themed? Guess so. Okay, camera? It'd be nice if you panned to the right a bit more. Thank you. Okay, slide. Alright. Yeah, but yeah, if this is like in space then, like. That means he already has the five, right? Because this is a space station. So, wh why are we collecting them? I'm, I'm very confused. I don't... know. Hmm? <sighs> that... 
feels weird to me. There we go, okay. I guess we're alright. Hmm. I wonder how many boxes this stage has. I hope it's not like a super long stage either. It's gonna be. Why do you say that? Because all the stages have been long. Well, the most recent ones. What, what even is that thing? Uh, some kind of octopus robot. Okay, so, that, so you can't jump on that one. That one switches. Oh, it switches. Okay. It's not fair. Well, that's that's pretty much that's the 30 minute time limit then. So. Yeah, that's a good place to stop. All right. Oh, my butt's done to hurt. God, we are missing a lot of gems still. Yeah, we are. Dang. Okay. Yep. Well, actually, we have. What is that? Two thirds. No, two thirds. That's yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, I suppose so. So yeah, we should hopefully be done with this. Four, five episodes? Four or five episodes? I'd say maybe sometime next week we can finish it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but we still have one more episode to do. Yes, correct. So, thank you all so very much for watching. If you liked this episode, leave a like and a comment. We're still just starting out and likes and comments both mean a lot to us. If you want to be notified when I upload more videos, subscribe and you will. And if you want to support us on Patreon, there'll be an end card at the end of the video and a link in the description below alongside a link to Tyler's Twitch account. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see you all in the next video. Oh, I just get some to move out of the way. Wait, what if I... Oh yeah, this, this, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There it goes. Bye, Sid.